Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video and that is my bedroom tour. For so long I've been trying to put like the finishing touches on this room because I wanted like a certain like aesthetic to the room and I think it came together so well. So I'll be definitely be giving you a complete tour. This is like one of my favorite sections here, but I'll go all into detail where I got everything. But I'll have everything listed below for you guys in the description box in case you want to check out any of the links. Also have a blog post to my entire bedroom tour with pictures and everything there as well. So if you're new here to my channel, definitely consider hitting subscribe. I like to make lots of fashion and lifestyle videos. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like tour style videos, give this video a thumbs up and I'd love to hear from you guys. Love to hear like what is your like bedroom aesthetic or like what is your theme? So is it like all neutrals? Is it a certain color? So definitely let me know below in the comments. But I wanna keep this intro kind of short and sweet because I feel like this is gonna be a long video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little quick overview of the entire room. But this is from right where I walk in. I'm at the door right here. I don't know if you can see in the mirror, here's the door. Um, so when you walk in right to the left here is my bed and then a nightstand. I'll go through everything in detail and then we have this little new this is like the newest section here that I just recently added and then over here we have like my vanity and my dresser and I have a really cool Ikea hack which I'll get to when I show you guys my dresser so first we're going to start off I do have um, this area right here that's just kind of like more on like the um, simple side I didn't want to like go too overboard being that this room is pretty small um, and I didn't want it to look cluttery um that's definitely one thing for me is i don't like to over clutter in certain areas so um i think this is the like just the perfect amount of decor i got this like wall art right here um they're like 3d flowers put these on with command hooks i just recently added that and then i just have my closet here which i'm not going to get into because i need that's my next project is reorganization um for my closets i'll just maybe save that for like a full-on closet tour and then you can see me in the mirror right there but um yes here is my bed right here um the headboard was super inexpensive and then the bedding which i'll have all linked below for you guys isn't it so pretty how gorgeous is this flower design there's all different kinds of flowers and I just think it makes it look so pretty without being like too much so it still stays really nice and clean and white um so I got this maybe a couple months ago and it's been holding up really nicely also got like the matching bed skirt um underneath as well um don't know if you could see then I want to show you really quick here is this like blush quilt that I've had for some time and then I had this other throw I've been using but then I thought I really liked the way this looked on it so that's what I went with and then I thought I'd show you guys my new sheets because they are so comfy so we have these like two um euro shams here i have like this front pom-pom pillow i can't remember where i got the off to look that up um and then i have well this kind of like gets squished in the middle when i have like all these pillows lined up because it doesn't fit this has this is my silk pillowcase because it has so many different beauty benefits for your hair and your skin okay i want to show you guys my new sheet set because these I just got and they're from Cozy Earth Bedding. I first heard about these sheets through Oprah's Favorite Things. And you guys, when I say these are such luxurious sheets, they are definitely the softest sheets I've ever owned. You could, like, it just feels like silk. Um, but they're made of, like, bamboo and they are just incredible. And I love them so much. This is not sponsored or anything, but I do have a coupon code for you guys. I'll leave it below. You get 20% off those sheets. Um, and I highly, highly recommend them. I also want to add, I do have the Cozy Earth duvet inside the duvet, like insert inside my comforter and it keeps me so warm, but without like overheating me. They also in the bundle had a duvet cover, which I did not use, but I have on hand and keys. But Cozy Earth is running a giveaway right now and I have all the details in the description box for you guys. And you could enter it to win the Cozy Earth bedding set. Um, I'll have all those details below for you guys. So now let's make our way to the nightstand. This is another one of my favorite parts of the room because I really love how it turned out. Um, so I got this nightstand a couple months ago and it's white and it has the gold rings. I literally just have hand cream in here. And then up top here I have two books. I have this devotional and this audrey hepburn book how to be lovely i got this for christmas and then i have um this little faux flower arrangement for me i'm like really picky with my faux flowers and these look so real so have that and then i have the lamp 
And then this clock right here, I love it so much. It's it's not anthropology, but it gives like the anthropology vibe, like this whole thing. This is from anthropology. I want, I got this around Christmas time. I included it in my holiday gift guide, an initial coaster. I'll see if they still have it available. I'll link it if they do. And then every single night I just have this here because this is my lip balm. It's the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. And I use this like every night. And that just sits there on my nightstand. So that's everything there. And then we come over to this corner, which I recently redid this corner. I first, I only had this bookshelf and then this nightstand and it was just lacking obviously I needed something else in the corner because it was just so bland basically so I found this mirror I found this like faux marble mirror at TJ Maxx or Marshalls actually I think it's Marshalls but um, a lot of the times they have the same stuff so if you want to check it out they had a few of them there and I think one was in like rose gold up top because this is like cream right here and then a little tip for smaller size rooms add a mirror into your room if you can because it kind of just opens up the space even more and makes it look a lot bigger. So um, it kind of brightens up everything and I just love the way this turned out. I mean, this really changed up the entire space. And then in front here, just to add another layer of dimension, I added this um, little bin right here. It's like a wicker bin and I basically filled it with some flowers from Michaels. Um, these are all, there's three different flowers. So these like taller ones and these like peonies and then this filler right here because I wanted to like fill up the neck of this like little vase here and then come over here um, this is my bookshelf so I was looking for some kind of shelving unit in this room and you know I see a lot of like the gold with the marble shelving or like the gold with the glass which is so pretty and I was really considering getting it but I just feel like everybody had that shelf and I wanted to get something a little bit different um, so I went with this white one and I actually found it on Walmart so I was really excited Excited that it was like so cute and it was like perfect for the space and I really love how it turned out so um, it does have a drawer underneath here I don't have anything in it yet you could actually put like I guess it's a filing drawer kind of but you could put a blank a spare blanket in there or really whatever you want to do you could put this in an office and that'd be really handy but I'm gonna go through each of these shelves and show you guys what's on them so up top here I have a picture from when my nephew was baptized as a godmother and it's just like our family photo and then I also have a candle here this smells amazing it is the Volspa candle I'm not gonna begin to pronounce this so that's the name of it though and it's in the pink jar and then on this shelf here I love a really cute like coffee table book so I went with these three books here um, I just recently got this one I think they're all available on Amazon so I'll link them for you guys really cute um, designs especially I love go for the pink ones always um, but on top of them I just added like this little gold figure um, this is from Walmart and it was like under $10 I think so really great deal and then yeah so I love this vintage roses book I have to show you guys the cover I'll quickly show you guys the cover of these in case you want to see like what they look like that's the cover isn't that so pretty you could even just put that plain by itself like on a coffee table that's the Lauren Conrad one and then this is the Kate Spade one and then you could just top it to add another layer and it looks super cute. So I have this like little piece of greenery here with um, a gray vase. And then the next shelf down. I love this shelf so much. I love how it turned out. Uh, again, you can see Audrey Hepburn on the cover of this book. So I have it like for facing forward because I love the like the shade of pink, like the two shades of pink on the cover. If I didn't have this book like facing forward, I feel like this would be like bland with all like the white on white. So I think it needed some color. Um, I got this little tray here from Target. Um, this new marble tray, which is so pretty. I love it so much. And then I have um, two dip tea candles. I just purchased this little mini size, which I think is adorable. And then I have these fake flowers here again. These I got at a local home boutique, so I don't know if I'll be able to link these. I'll try to see if I can find the name of it online um, for you guys. And then last shelf here is this, like I have this cloche here with a candle in it. And then I have this frame in it. I don't remember where I got the graphic print. It might have been, it might have come with it actually. Um, but it just says life is about moments. And then also this little jewelry sandwich. I do need to hang some jewelry from it, but I got it from Target. And it actually goes with this little tray here. Definitely looked like something you would see in anthropology. So I'm like, I have to get that because that was the whole theme of my room, kind of like the anthropology vibe. 
and I thought this is so pretty and it's really nice quality. You could even like put little, like little rings in these like little flowers here, hang little bracelets. I probably would hang bracelets mostly from it. Okay, if I go too close to the curtains, see it gets like really dark because of the backlight. So maybe if I show you, oh, right there. So I'm gonna have to just show you the curtains off center. So this is the set of curtains. It's the only way it'll let me show you without going too dark. Uh, but I got them, they're like velvet and they are so pretty. They're not gonna like completely dark in your room, but they are pretty like opaque, which is really nice. So I have that also that gold curtain rod on it. And then this, I got this like wall art here. I got this from TJ Maxx and it was like really inexpensive. And then we come to my vanity and this some of this may look familiar to you guys as I did a whole vanity tour. Here's a front view of my vanity. Since the last tour, I added these flowers right here. I just think it makes it look a little bit more dreamy, which I love. If you wanna see an in-depth tour of my vanity, then I will have it linked below for you guys in case you wanna check that out. That way I don't like, you know, bore you guys in case you already saw it. So I'll just give a little overview though. Like I have my makeup in these acrylic drawers. Like I got the acrylic drawers from Amazon. They're really handy because I'll just like take out my makeup, work from that drawer and then just put it back. Um, so it helps me stay super organized. I have like all my brushes, some more brushes here, um, lipsticks, it holds everything. And then I also, you know, in these drawers, I have like some scrunchies, like my silk scrunchies that I like to tie my hair up with. If I'm curling my hair, I'll clip my hair up with these, some bobby pins and hair ties. I have some extra makeup in here. And then over here, I just have some hair tools, which I go through in there too. And then over to the right side of my vanity here, I got this like little glass box. I don't know if you can see with the reflection. Um, but I just have some perfume samples, an Aran roller, and then my Chanel earrings. I just keep them in there so they don't get dirty or like you know, hairspray on them or makeup or whatever. So they just stay protected in there. And then I have this little trinket dish here. It reminded me of Taylor Swift. Um, if you're a Taylor Swift fan, then you'll know which song this was from, this lyric. So I thought it was so cute. It was only like $3 and it was like pink on the side. So it was like literally perfect. So I have to keep a little necklace in there. And then I also have this vanity stool. It's really inexpensive. And then this rug underneath. And then we come over to this last section here and I am so proud of how it turned out because this dresser was from Ikea and it was really inexpensive, but a way to make an Ikea dresser look a little bit more expensive or just not even just so plain. Um, I added these gold drawer pulls on them. Now the way I did it, I would not recommend it because I think you have to actually go in with like a drill and like drill the drawer pulls on. But I saw one time like a tutorial on YouTube um, and I don't remember which one it was, but I just remember them gluing the drawer handles on. So I used wood glue. I mean, one or two fell off, but I like placed a book on top of like them to like have pressure when they were drawing and that seemed to help. So I'm not recommending it, but I mean, you're totally welcome to try it if you want to, but I got the gold drawer pulls off Amazon. It was like 10 bucks for a pack of like, I don't even know, like 15. So it was really inexpensive. And I think though it really makes a difference. So I just added two onto even like the longer ones. It was made anyway to like pull from the top of the drawers. So I'll kind of go through each of the drawers. Um, so up here I have some bras. I have some un like most of my underwear here. I do have a little bit more in here, um, but I also have like socks and I kind of Marie Kondo'd my drawers. So I have like bralettes and I have some like shorts that I would wear under like skirts or dresses, like sticky bras and like athletic socks, fuzzy socks. I have all my pajamas, which I'm recondoed. So that's all my pajamas. I pretty much keep all my long sleeve tops or t-shirts here. Um, and then I have some pajama pants here, pajama shorts, and then some sleep tees and like those long sleeve sleep tees from Victoria's Secret. I really love those. And then some camis back there. And then this one, what is this? Oh, this is swimwear. I just put all my swimwear in here. It's in this divider. And then down on the last one, I have some lingerie in there. And up top, I have some trinkets. I had this wall art from in my office, I think it was, and I rechanged it up and then I ended up adding it here. So I think it looks really pretty. I just set it right on here. I didn't even stick it to the wall or anything. And then over here, I have these like two little flowers here and I got these from, um, like they came like this from Pier One. And I was like, well, I don't like the black pot of ace, like that's not gonna work with my aesthetic. So I found these little jars fit so perfectly in there. And then this little 
it's like a little it looks like a cupcake stand but i just did that to add some height to one of them and then here i have this tray it's from anthropology it just holds some of my pearl brettes which i'm loving these it took me so, quite some time to find like the perfect pearl brett without being too over the top because they're so on trend and then over here are some of my absolute favorite perfumes and then over here we have this little love sign it's really cute and is that everything and the rug in the middle is from walmart i think they covered everything so i hope you guys enjoyed my bedroom decor tour i hope you got some ideas in case you're trying to like redo your bedroom and as i said everything will be linked down below for you guys in case you want to check anything out and if you have any other questions about anything i didn't cover feel free to leave a comment below but i will see you all in my next video very soon bye Take down your